room today yes we are so basically <laughs> i tricked the electric in the caravan for the second time in two weeks and my mom's fuming <laughs> <laughs> absolute cock so mom's absolutely livid, livid with me so i'm working in the flipping kitchen and to be honest i don't get much work done when i'm in the house i don't get much work done in the caravan i get more like individual projects done in the caravan than i do <laughs> So I get more bits done and basically in the caravan than I do in like a normal day just because I don't know. It's, it's my work mode now. It's like my work scene there. So it's popping. But anyway, I want to drop a cheeky little beauty. Oh, oh. Okay, for the man gem, this one's for you. For you. This is just a few things that you can do to ensure that you secure yourself possibly a wife. Do you know what I mean? Five things, just five things, five things that I want you to get down to a fucking T. And by all means, it's going to be a bit give and take because every woman is different. Do you know what I mean? Every woman's going to like different stuff. But like overall, I feel like this is just a good, just a good little dynamic, a good base to start from. So number one, don't beg. <laughs> Please don't beg. There's nothing we find more unattractive than a man that is too keen. And I know that sounds fucking silly because, you know, you want someone to be keen on you but there's being there's being keen and there's being a beggy prick do you know what i mean like constantly fucking messaging all the time like if my girl airs you twice in a row just don't just don't message her for the third time because she's just not interested just to save just save yourself that whole drama just do it when girls are interested in someone we're fucking interested do you know what i mean we not might not be like oh my god like ott with it and like proper needy enough and if they are needy they're coming from a wounded feminine so that's a red flag just to let you know or they could just be really excited. We like men. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We like men. So if you are literally like someone's type and you slide in someone's DMs and she replies to you, she, you're, you're a possibility in her head. She finds you attractive. There might be a little a little saying going on there. Men are in my DMs all the time. Do you know what I mean? And I reply because I'm polite, but I don't fancy them. But you, you would know. You just got to trust that they, okay? You know the very trust it. Generate nice, small talk conversation with them. Get to know them a little bit. See whether she's compatible with you. The massive thing that we have nowadays is that we're so caught up on lust and attraction that we actually forget whether to see the other person's actually compatible with you and your life and potentially your future. Do you know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Don't beg. Don't. Give compliments, but don't give too many. Let me tell you why, yeah? When you give a woman a compliment, she's going to love it. She's going to remember it. And she's going to appreciate it. And I don't just mean like all these just dry shit just popping up to stories constantly. You don't need to be like so persistent with it. Like just pop up here and there. Do you know what I mean? Hi, hon. I think you're sexy. <laughs> Would I potentially say that? But you know, just like, oh, you look beautiful today. Looking gorgeous. You look really well. You're glowing. I love it when people tell me I look glowing. Because to me, that's just like a top tier compliment. Do you know what I mean? When you compliment someone too much... Like a lot of the time it can come across as ingenuine. So you need to make sure that what you are saying holds value. And if you're saying a lot of shit, it's, it's, it's quality, not quantity, okay? We'll just leave it there. Fix your fucking self first. Fix yourself first. There's so many men moving from their ego. And by all means, we've all got an ego. I mean, it's, just, it's your responsibility to manage it and master it and know when it's your ego at play and when it's your intuition, your higher self at play. And, you know, distinguish between the two. Because a lot of the time, men are very pride driven, you know. Not all of you. Hold my hands up there. Not all of you are. I've met some fucking absolutely lovely men that are very imbalanced. But a lot of the time, your wounded masculine, masculine comes across as controlling, manipulative, insecure, abusive, like narcissistic. For example, my, my ex, I hate to even fucking keep talking about it, but it's a fucking learning point, do you know what I mean? To me, a lot of the time was operating from a place of ego, but didn't even realise he was. And to me, that was just a proper fundamental issue. That's why I didn't put so much effort into trying to, you know, reconcile things and make it work out for the second time around. It's a fundamental issue that I do not have the time, the emotional capacity or anything else to flip in and deal with. Like I want someone that's, when it comes to the ego and when it comes to like being balanced and your feminine and your masculine, I need someone that's gonna match me but on the masculine vibe. I don't have time to flip in, be a therapist. I don't, I really don't. If there's certain things that happen when we're together, like I'm gonna help you get through that. You know, small things that, you know, you might not be great at like communicating and stuff like that, cool, we can work on that. But when it comes down to like proper fundamentals and how you perceive yourself and life, like I can't be fucked with that in it. You need to sort your shit out before you, you come knocking at my door. 
So guys, make sure that you're fucking healed, okay? Your past traumas, you're healing from that day are. I'm sorry, but fucking having money is not everything. It's really fucking not. And yes, it might get you girls, but it might not allow you to keep them. Do you know what I mean? Especially for the right reasons. Hi, Jean. Oh, hi fucking Jean. Hi, Jean. Man. Fresh trims. I know it's been locked down. I know it has. But the barbers are open now. We need fresh trends. We need a fresh beard. If you can grow one. It's not compulsory, but if you can grow one, pop in. Wash your fucking willy and your balls and your ass properly. Properly. Okay? Properly. Because we, we can't be dealing with that. Do you know it's actually fucking disrespectful asking your woman to go down on you when you ain't washed your fucking things. Mate, it's a form of abuse. It's disgusting. Wash your fucking things, man. I don't just mean your body. I mean your clothes. Your tangy dressing gown that's been hanging on the fucking back of your bedroom door for like 10 years. Fucking wash it. Please learn how to look after your skin. I'm not just gonna sit there and be like, I've got the most perfect skin because I don't, but I make a conscious effort to make sure that, you know, I am looking after it. I don't mean to sound shallow because I'm not saying that I wouldn't get with anyone bad skin. I've been people and their skin's not been fantastic. Do you know what I mean? But what I am gonna say is we notice it. Do you know what I mean? The same way that you notice a pimple in a pretty girl's face. Make the conscious effort to try and find some skincare products that is gonna do you good and help you out. Make sure that you're just looking after yourself. If your deodorant's not working, get a new deodorant because I know that I have previously, like, I don't know, it's like I almost build up an immune system against fucking certain deodorants. So I like I could put on a deodorant that I've been using for the last six months and then some days like it just doesn't work. Like something's changed within my system to not allow it to work. So then I have to go and flip and buy a new one. But just be conscious about shit like that. Scrub them between your toes as well because we don't want them cho jam things there, do you know what I'm saying? And clip your fucking nails, fingers and toes, do it. And fifthly, just be honest. Be honest. One of the things that I've really struggled with in previous relationships is that I, p I catch people out on shitty little white lies and it just pisses me off. I don't like it. I just don't understand why you need to lie about certain shit. Do you know what I mean? And it's like it's like guys preempt, you know? They're like, oh yeah, but I just lied about this because I knew that you would take it like this. No, you don't know shit. You don't know how I'm going to take it. But if you approach me, you know, in the correct way, in an honest way, it would have been blessed. Do you know what I mean? We actually would have been fine. But now you're just creating a boundary there where I feel like I can't trust you because you're lying about small things. So what else are you going to be lying about? Like, it's literally so simple. And the thing is, when you are honest, yeah, like that, that then enables the woman to come in with her feminine energy to then nurture you, care give for you. Do you know what I mean? Help you through that situation. Or it just allows us to understand you better. Like, it really does. And that's how, if you, you know, you want a long-term partner, you need to move. It's a compatibility thing. It's a compassionate thing. It's an, em it's an empathy thing. Like, you need to be able to just be honest and communicate openly. Because at, at the beginning, by all means, a lot of us fucking, we do put our best foot forward and we do all them things there. But ultimately, you need to be honest. You need to be honest from the absolute get-go. Because if I'm, if I'm seeing someone, yeah, and obviously it's all rosy and all well and good within the first few months, and then, you know, we get to the fifth and the sixth month and it's like, I'm, I'm dating a completely different person. And by all means, I've probably changed slightly within that time as well, because I've been leading with my best foot. But when you actually get to that period where you're like, oh shit, the masks are coming off now, you'll know, you'll know whether someone is bullshitting you and whether someone is actually all down for you. But the best thing you can do is just be honest. If all you want is a fuck or you're not sure, just say that. Just be like, look, I'm I'm here. I'm looking for a bit of fun. You know, I just want someone to enjoy time with and you know, potentially see where it goes. Because ultimately when you're dating, that is what you're doing. Like I do find it a bit bizarre that, you know, initially when we, some people go straight into like a dating situation, they're like, oh, we're in a relationship with this person. It's been like two dates. Like you don't know that person. Like, can we be realistic, please? We have such unrealistic standards when it comes to relationships nowadays. And I do genuinely believe it's because of social media. Um, and it's sad, it is really sad, but all we can do is fucking learn, you know, through outlets like YouTube, Instagram, podcasts. Like there's so many things and so many avenues where you can actually really get to the fundamentals on how you should be. Not how you should be, because you should just be yourself. Do you know what I mean? But just the notes to take, the things to be thinking about. Like initially for me, when I used to always go on dates, I used to be like, oh my God, I'm just really worried. Like, is he gonna like me? And in reality, that was me coming from an insecure, wounded feminine, do you know what I mean? But in reality, it's you, you're analyzing that person to see whether they're okay for you. Do you know what I mean? Whether they're right for you. So just believe in yourself, 
have your confidence be honest don't be fucking don't just lead with your willy men just don't we know we know you want to fuck you're a man do you know what i mean <laughs> we know but just keep the long-term goals in mind and at the end of the day like if you can keep it in your pants for a few dates or whatever when the time's right for the chick then it's just gonna blow and the sex will always be better anyway because you've actually built that proper emotional connection do you know what i mean so and even if it's shit that's where the honesty comes and you gotta fix that you gotta fix that the fuck up but yeah i hope these little points have helped you today i've probably waffled on a lot um but yeah we just i just want healthy healthy masculine men walking around showering their queens with the love and respect that everyone deserves and vice versa for the queens to the kings so yes send you all lots of love and i'll see you soon